So now students, in this video we will do the practical. So watch this video till the end so that you can learn very easily practical of these topics which have learned earlier in that video. So let's start. Now students, here we are in the PC. The first thing that is adding image. Now how to add image? We can add image by the help of img tag. Here I have already made this file which is images.html so right click on it open with and here is the html and you can see the code that is html had title which is adding images okay now here is the image tag img src which is plant.jpg and here this is the plant.jpg as you can see here and this is a plant.jpg and I have adjusted the size which is width 50% and height 50% okay you can also give the pixel over here too so in my case I have given the percentage I have told you you can give the two things to adjust the size of your pictures which is pixel and percentage now there is a, another attribute that is ALT which means alternating suppose there is I am giving nothing okay minimize it and here is the images.html double click on it this is the image I have uh, adjusted the size of this 50% and 50% 50% height and 50% width now if suppose there is the internet connection was uh, very bad so it will not going to load so in that case what will be happen so go to this uh, notepad and uh, and here is the plant.jpg suppose uh, I am giving the another name like any name okay so here I have given this this is the this picture this picture of plant so I am giving the alternative suppose uh, the picture will not going to load this message will be shown so now going to save because this uh, because this uh, jpg is not existed so in that case what will be show let's see so i have saved control plus s now go to this image.html as you can see here this picture of plant but the picture is not load in that case we are using alternative now you are getting now minimize it and you can see here uh, go to this open with notepad and here you can see dot uh, ljf which is uh, which does not exist so i am going to change uh, and my previous uh, name was plants.jpg check it this is the plants.jpg okay now i will just save it now the next topic is images in table cell so this is the file so I'm going to right click on it and open with in notepad. Okay, now you can see this is the HTML head. It's a title, title which which is what is the type title? Images in a table cell. Images in a table cell. Now this is the title. Okay, now uh, here we can, we will use CSS for using the CSS. We will uh, use inside the head tag. Okay, and start by the help of this style and here we have to give the title and this is the value and what is the value text slash css because we have to insert the css now inside the inside the body we need the background color which is rgb okay now this is the color code every color has its code you have to remember all the codes that in my case i have used the light yellow i have used light yellow so for the for this we use this code that is 255 251 and 214 from rgb r means red g means green and b means blue and from this rgb we are extracting the color which is light yellow okay so in the background color we will use this background color light yellow so for this we will use this code okay you have to remember because uh, every color has a unique number got it so now table for table td th we also have to apply some border which is pixel with solid green uh, because the, because the border will be of solid green color okay 
now tape for the tables we will use the border collapse and there is a table and in inside the table we want some lines separately we will use this border collapse now td td which mean table data and for this we will use uh, to align the table data in the center now close this tile now head again body center table and we will give the heading welcome to this web page this is the caption caption which means heading of the table now tr tr which mean table row and td which mean table data and inside the table data we we use this image src because we will putting the image in the uh, in the table cell and in the style sheet we are giving the width 20 percent okay so it will adjust the size of the cell now uh, again we are giving the heading which is netting okay now td uh, another table data which and inside the table data or we can say the another cell we want to give the another uh, image src and uh, the same things we have right here and again we will close we will close this tr here and open again the table row in the next row it will be insert and then td and you can see the same things we have done to again reconstruct uh, to again create this table data now close this tr and close this table and align this table in the center for this we use this center tag and then close the body and close html now minimize it and you you open it in mozilla firefox google chrome or any other web browser now it is opening so now images are, have been loaded and we have made the table we have used the table collapse that is the table collapse that i am want to say this this is the table line you, you can see and uh, inside the two lines there is a there is a separate lines is over here this is table collapse as you can see here here i have given this one border collapse and this this is separate i have given so this is the separate one and here we are insert in the table table data and this one is a table row this one is a table row and this one is a table data this one is also a table data this one is a table data and this one is a table data our next topic which is linking web page as i have told you uh, there is a two type of linking which is internal linking and external linking internal linking which means when one part of web page is linked to another section on the same page so it is called internal linking and another link another type of linking which is external linking when one page is linked to another web page or website it is called external linking so there is a two types of linking i have told you and for linking we use anchor tag as you can see i am going to just right click on it open with and in the notepad the linking is called hyperlink okay so we have to understand how to link one web page to another web page now suppose uh, there is a there's a two type of linking that is uh, uh, internal and external and we already know that uh, the anchor tag which this is the anchor tag you can see and with the anchor tag we use this h ref which mean h means hyperlink ref means reference and this is the value and value must be of three types that is absolute relative and email if i said absolute which mean www.google.com any other website this is a absolute linking if i i have said relative linking so for relative linking we use we use to select the file that i have already made this is click.html so so i will use this click.html over here click dot html and this is called uh, this is called relative linking and instead of this uh, if i give the email over here this is called email linking so i have created this and just control plus s and just open in mozilla firefox or any other browser so here you can see click here is written the line by blue color and once i have open you can see 
the another page which is click dot html made this html over here you can see here our next topic is uh, css and linking so we will going to include uh, in the linking section with the help of the css now this uh, i am going to give the title that is css and linking now you can see the title css and linking so we will uh, we will just adjust the color adjust the color when i will place the cursor on the link or when the link is idle or when someone visited on that link the color will going to change uh, step by step according according to do the action will do by the help of the css so for the for inserting the css we will use inside the head tag and this is the style which mean we are inserting the css and this is the type and types equals to text slash css for inserting the css value for inside the body we will give the text align center we have given and we want margin margin which means the space in the side left side down side bottom side okay and we are giving the margin on the top 50 okay so the first one is a a which means anchor and link i am going to give the color red and text decoration over line okay which means want to put the line on the top of that line you can see that over line you can write over line this uh, still link should be in red color i have given now when someone visited on that link the color will be pink okay now hover hover which mean the cursor goes on that link cursor goes on that link the color will change to purple now active link suppose that you have already visited you have already visited on that link the color will going to change in green so we have just closed this style close the head again now uh, inside the body so open this body over here now uh, give anchor tag and inside the anchor tag href and here we can see uh, we can give the absolute linking relative linking or any other linking uh, i can i can give a in types of linking so just go to this and uh, here is the click dot html over here i'm going i'm going to copy here and uh, just paste over here now open this as uh, notepad and uh, i'm not going to give this because i don't have internet connection right now so i'm giving the relative link over here that is click dot html because i have already made this uh, web page over here you can see now uh, click dot html i have given and uh, giving the heading this uh, this is the this is a link okay now close the anchor tag and uh, close the body and close the html now look at uh, the output now double click on it and open the browser and you can see this is a red color because i i have not visited in this section now see the see the code here when the link is still so it will be color is is in red so see the uh, see it is a red color right now now the again thing is that when someone visited this color will be changed in pink hover hover will when the cursor will go this color will be changed in purple Let, let's see see this is the cursor and when i go, place the cursor this color has been changed in purple now the next thing is active when i have visited this color uh, will be green see here when i am going to visit uh, when i click on this link this color will be going to green see some little time and it just turned into the uh, turn into the green you have already visited now you can see here this uh, link color has been changed into the pink because you have already visited so visit for visited we choose the color pink so that is why it is showing pink so these these things uh, used in css to change the color of your link so now you have uh, uh, surely understanded all the things uh, now uh, the next topic is uh, links as button links as button now, here's the html tag okay now here is the head this is the title and giving that 
title that is links as button now i have given the title now the same thing the style uh, for putting the css over here so now first one is a link and i am not giving any of the color right now so visited we want a background color which is pink color white and because i have uh, just merged the two things that is uh, uh, for link we we will choose this pink and for visited we will choose white okay so now padding padding which means the thickness of the for the border okay now we have given the height and width which is 14 pixel and 25 pixel okay now text align i have given this center text decoration uh, none because i have not given any of the, any of the decoration now display display which means in line block in line blocks this is the uh, things which you have to notice that display in line block what's the what does this mean okay now in line block which mean uh, if you want to if you want to create a box and under the box you want to give the uh, link write this code that is display colon in line block so you have created the box and inside the box you have given the link once uh, anyone will click on it uh, the link will be open so now uh, hover hover which means when you go when you place the cursor on the button or you have created uh, once it has active the background color will going to red run okay now uh, the style has been uh, ended now open the uh, close this head and open this body and now the same things anchor tag href and in my case i have given html images dot html you can give any any other things uh, i have given this image dot html you can see here image dot html i have also created and inside this image dot html we have inserted the image i have already told you here is or file link as a button double click on it and open in the browser so that we can see the output see here I have created this when the hover will go this uh, button will be dark see the hover will go uh, uh, the color will be dark uh, which is in button and when I will click on this that uh, image.html will open so click on it and you can see here this image.html has been opened which I have uh, made previously I have told you okay now uh, uh, this is uh, this is the things uh, in which we can use links as a button can uh, also use image as a link as this is a very simple HTML now had this title and we don't need to any of the CSS thing over here so we have just uh, link as HTML so I have uh, adding images image.html now uh, see uh, I am giving the title over here and uh, the title is uh, uh, the title is images as links okay now I have given the title now here we don't need this CSS now open, close this head open this body and uh, anchor tag href images.html images.html is our file okay uh, we can just put in in quotation mark okay now we have just uh, put this uh, we have given the value of this we can adjust the size also height and width I am not going to give this ok now uh, image.src we have given the, which image we want to, to create the link once we click on that image so I have uh, just used this uh, this image this is the image I am going to use as a link ok so for this we need uh, we have to give this uh, uh, types.jpg because uh, the name of this image is types.jpg so I am giving this types.jpg over here and uh, adjust the height which is 100% width equals to 100% just uh, close this anchor tag and close this body and close this html now just see the output now control plus s to save this uh, and now open this link the uh, image now when I click on this image and that uh, images dot html will going to open so just click on it and you can see this images dot html has been open so this way you can use uh, images as a link so this is the topic has been over now I'll tell you the our next topic which is adding audio and video this is the thing 
uh, that I am going to tell you here we need uh, CSS too so HTML had uh, title and inside the title we use give, we give adding audio clip okay now style uh, to insert this uh, CSS now body for body we use background color which is RGB we have giving the pink color so for pink color we we will use uh, code 250 214 229 uh, from extracting from rgb rgb which mean uh, red green and blue and from the red green blue we are extracting the pink color also write uh, pink over here close this style now because uh, css has been over now close this head open this body and giving the heading uh, inside the heading we again style and uh, which is uh, the part of the css and uh, color which is blue and align the center and uh, this is the uh, this is the heading i am going to give music give source to universe and imagination so now just adjust the line now just um, give the center uh, say again give the center and uh, now uh, the main thing uh, i'm going to tell you how to insert uh, insert audio clip so for inserting the audio clip uh, you use this audio tag and this is the attribute which is control for control for controller you need this uh, controls and for source you need src and here is your file okay as your audio file you have to give the location you have to give the location over here the, to give the value which file format you have of uh, audio so if the if it is not been uh, detected by your browser or if your browser does not support this audio tag so this message will show that is your browser does not support the audio tag now just um, align this center and close this audio tag close this body and close close the html now open in the browser here you can see the controller of image it has been loaded and it is uh, it is perfectly worked in uh, google chrome so now this is the this is the file i have told you this is a controller uh, this is a play pause button and this is the time frame okay and this is the sound okay and uh, once you click on this uh, you the music will be going to play so this way you can insert audio now again this is the same things by which we can insert the video file also so to insert the video file what you have to do just uh, you don't need to insert the css uh, to uh, for adding the video clip so it is a very simple thing html had title is adding video clip now body heading center and uh, uh, audio clip center head closing we want to add the video so we will give the video tag and for controller we use control and for giving the src src which means uh, source and for source we are giving the our file which is uh, cell dot 3 3 gp here is here is our video file and this video file is name is cell dot 3 gp so we have given over here now uh, we have to adjust the width which is 720 okay and height which which i have given and this is in pixel okay so we can write the px also uh, you can write a px also or you uh, if you don't want to write the px so you also can don't write so here is also the another attribute which is autoplay uh, suppose your uh, video has been ended your video has finished so now it will again going to start so play the audio files automatically when the web page is loaded or uh, wh when you apply this attribute okay adjust the height control these are these are the attributes you have to use uh, in the video tag now if uh, uh, if the video is not supported uh, if the video tag is not supported in your browser this message will show your browser does not support the video tag now close the video tag now here's the here's the wrong thing now close the body and just close the html tag now control plus has you have saved output you have to see once you have clicked and uh, this is a controller of room um, this is a play and this is a time frame and uh, this is a volume button and uh, for full screen you will use this and here is here is the picture in picture if you want then 
you can uh, use this so for this we can insert your video file in, in insert in your web page so it is very simple to insert audio and a video file now final thing which is frame okay now i have told you that what is frame so you want to display more than one html document in a browser window at the same time so the frame it is going to be used so i have also told you the syntax of the frame we will use the iframe okay see this html had uh, the title what is the title the title is our frame the title is frames okay now now for this frames we need as uh, css so we will use this style type text slash css to insert to put the css inside for in the for the body we, we will use the color of background which is yellow you can use the rgb code too or you simply you can write yellow over here or you can close this style now over now close this head open this body s3 okay s3 which means you are putting the heading and uh, center it and uh, give the heading that is uh, this is the main document contained below in line frames now heading and the main things uh, how to put the frames uh, in your web browser different different uh, web browser in a single window so for this iframe and uh, src which means source and you are putting the source the first thing is images.html so here is the images.html here you can see this is the images.html the first window will be show it will show images.html now i am giving the height 500 and width is 400 close this iframe now again i want uh, another window so again i will put iframe give the src and another images.html see images.html this is the images. Uh, this is the images.html as you can see here and uh, now give the height 500 width 400 close this iframe close this body and the score close this html now double click on this frame and you can see the output so now here is the here is the output you can see this is the first uh, window because i have only inserted two window I, you can insert more than two or three four five anything uh, you want you can insert so I, in my case i have uh, putting only two frames so the first frame is this this one is uh, you can see here and the another thing which is this one this is the image i have inserted this is the image of a plant okay now uh, this way you can insert the frame how can we do accurate our border frame so just here is the border and frame just so paint a notepad and uh, mm, just you can see here html had title which is the uh, main document i have given so uh, here i am going to change border border and uh, iframe okay now uh, for for using this uh, css we use this style type text slash css now board for body we will give the background color which is yellow okay now i for iframe we will give the border which uh, thickness will be uh, 10 pixel and dotted purple okay uh, dotted purple i will show you here you can see once i click on this uh, double click you can see the output this is the border dotted border this is the dotted border i have given over here this is the dotted uh, dotted purple i have given uh, the color of the purple now uh, the style css has been completed now close this hat also now open this body now for heading s3 we will align this in the center give the heading uh, this is the main document containing below given in line frames now close the center close and in this heading and now open iframe the main thing the first frame will be images dot images underscore table html which is our file i have told you now i have adjusted the height which is 200 and width is 200 close this iframe the first one and for first one we will use this dotted purple okay so we are not uh, have to give uh, any of the things 
but the next frame will have to define something so in the next uh, frame uh, there is a images dot html height is 200 width is 200 so for style we will give width of the border will be 5 pixel i have uh, here i have given uh, the condition so i don't want this uh, dotted purple if i have defined the, uh, defined the condition the style uh, here is also style i have applied this style will not going to apply in this frame because i have given the condition uh, in the style form uh, inside this iframe so it will not going to apply uh, which i have previously uh, give uh, give the condition over here inside the head so it will going to change because the border width i have given this 5 pixel the thickness of the uh, border will be 5 pixel as you can see the result over here this is the uh, the the thickness of this border the thickness of the, the second the second frame you can see here the thickness of the border is 5 pixels you can see here now the next uh, thing is that uh, uh, the color i have given the color it is a solid and what is the border color i have defined which is green okay as you can see uh, as you can see here this is the border color and the border color is uh, green now moving ahead that is iframe src and uh, the next uh, frame i am giving the giving the uh, another file uh, that is link the html dot html now giving the height 200 width 200 style border none and close this iframe now close this body and close this html this is our file you can see here this is the output you have understand this is not have applied because i am not giving the any of the condition for a style in this frame so it will not going to apply so first uh, first thing is applied from the head tag uh, we have uh, we have given the style we have we have applied the style inside the head so it, it has applied from there and uh, inside the second iframe we have applied the solid green color the third iframe i have not given any of the condition you can see mm, here here i am not giving uh, here is the border which have none i have used okay so if uh, if i don't use this style border none so it will going to a dotted purple so uh, let's look at this uh, once i will have removed and just control s over here and then then enter it so this dotted purple see here this dotted purple has applied because why this is uh, this had applied because uh, be, uh, because we have uh, giving the uh, giving the iframe condition of the border which is 10 pixel dotted purple inside the head tag of the in uh, inside the style tag uh, between the head tag so the it will extract it from there so if i have uh, giving the style again uh, again style and this time we will use the border we will use the border none so again uh, it will not going to show any of the borders so let's see uh, so let's see what happened so now see here the, the border has been gone so why have it is gone because i have applied a condition inside the iframe that is uh, uh, i don't want any of the borders so i have told everything about uh, images links uh, frame in html so uh, rest of the things uh, i have cleared all the things but still if you have any doubt you can uh, you can ask me in the doubt clearance session so thanks for watching all the things uh, keep learning stay safe stay home so now student we have done the practical of all those topics that how to put the images in our web page how to do the linking how to insert the audio and video and how to, to insert the frame so all this topic we have learned in this video so you have to do the practical also to do the practice so see you in the next video